to start this project, you are going to pick the background that you want your fish to be. There'll be lots of different colors. I think I'll go with the purple. Each table will have a stencil on their table. You're going to get your pencil and you will trace around that stencil. Once you've traced your stencil, then you can cut on that line that you just drew with your scissors. Once you have that, you're gonna grab one of the small white squares like this. We're gonna use this to cut out an eyeball for our fish. So I'm gonna start by trimming off those corners. And if I think, ooh, that's way too big of an eye, I can just pick it up, trim off a little more. There, much better. Next, you can grab your Sharpie and you can draw your eye on that little white circle. You can see I'm just drawing a circle around the outside first. Then you can go in and add the little dot for the pupil of your eye. Set it right there. Look, my little fishy has an eye. Next, you're gonna pick the color that you want for your fins for your fish. So I'm looking at all the colors. I'm kinda gonna hold some of them up so I can see. Does this color look good? Hmm. Ooh, green, okay, I'll go with green. I'm going to pick two out because we're gonna make two fins for our fish. Now I'm gonna start by making the tail fin for my fish. I'm gonna draw it in Sharpie, but you guys can draw it in pencil to start, just in case you need to redraw it. But I'm gonna start, you can see there's a long side of my paper and a short side of my paper. I'm gonna make my fin go off that long side and I'm gonna try to make it as big as I possibly can. Now I'm gonna make my short fin, and I'm only gonna use about half that sheet of paper, and you can see my short fin is coming off the short side of the paper. Now I'm cutting those out. Next, I'm gonna start my design on my fish. So I'm gonna start by deciding where the head of my fish is gonna start. So to do that, I'm actually going to grab a ruler. There we go. And I want my head to start about here. So I'm gonna make a straight line going straight across where I want my head to start. Then I'm just gonna start decorating my fish a little bit with my Sharpie. So I think I'm gonna start kind of outlining the outside of my fish. So I'm gonna go around his head. I'm gonna go around his mouth. This is just gonna make your fish pop out a little bit more, make the edges of him show up just a little bit more. continuing to outline. Then I want my fish to have a little smile. So I'm going to add a little smile to my fish. There we go. 
Then I think I want his body to be outlined too. So I'm just gonna go all the way around that outside. Once I've done that, I'm gonna give my fish little scales. You can do any kind of cool design on your fish that you want. You can draw scales, you can draw different kinds of lines that you've learned. I'm just doing little jumping lines, jumping across my paper to look like little scales. You can also decorate the head of your fish. It's up to you what you want to do for decorations on your fish. Now I'm just gonna add some quick little lines to my fins, just to make them look more fin-like. Now this next part is the part where it starts to get a little tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. Where that line that I drew for my head is, I'm gonna fold my paper. And then I'm gonna fold it back, going the other way just a little bit. We're gonna end up making kind of a zigzag out of our paper. So I'm folding one way, making a crease, then I'm gonna turn it over, fold it back the other way, making a crease, I don't wanna fold the top of my head. You can see I'm being careful not to fold that tip of my head. I'm just going back and forth, turning it over, folding it just a little bit and creasing, folding it just a little bit and creasing, and then I have one little piece left, folding it just a little bit and creasing. Then when you open it up, it should kind of look like an accordion, if you know what that instrument is, or kind of like a zigzag. Now we're gonna start putting our fish together. So I'm gonna take my big fish, my fish tail, and I'm gonna put just the tiniest little line of glue along the edge of my fish tail, just like that. Then I'm gonna lift up the edge of my fish and tuck that under. I'm gonna hold that for about 30 seconds until it's dried and kind of sticking on there really good. Next, we're gonna glue on our little fin. To do that, we're gonna fold over just the little edge right here, just a little bit, just wide enough to add a little line of glue. There we go, little fold, you can see that right there. I'm gonna add my little line of glue, not too much. Then, right where that first fold is, I'm going to attach that fin right before his head starts. So then it kind of looks like his fin is going across his body. Next, I'm taking his eye, making sure to put a little bit of glue on the back and glue that on. Last but not least, I think I want my fish to have a little bit of rosy cheek. So I'm gonna take this little red square right here, curve off those corners, cut it into a little circle, then put a little dot of glue on the back. Perfect and give him a little rosy cheek. And there's my finished fish.